Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the OTT player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader to your device. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we just go to search on your device and start typing Downloader in the search bar. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you got Downloader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And we can set up Downloader by going to Settings and pressing on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared for us right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then we go to install unknown apps, from here locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, open it and there's the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Hungary right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta open the downloader application, wait until it loads for you. Then, on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home and not on Browser. That's really important. So once again, make sure that it is Home, and then here in that search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be 298344. So once again, the code is 298344. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and do not make any mistakes. Because, obviously, if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, you'll have to click on Go, and whilst loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly really helps me a lot, and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the website has opened, we just have to scroll it down a bit until you find the OTT player right here. So let's click on OTT player, and now in a couple of moments the download is going to start, Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then you have to click on install and wait until OTT player gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you're using. And after that, don't click on open yet, 
instead press done because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from our Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's super important because you don't have too much of free space on your device by default anyway. Now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, which is right here. Open it, scroll down, and there's the OTT player, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, OTT player is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.